This is Colonel. I'm tapped in with Dizzler.com. They rocking with Richmond. Um, originally, I had like some warrants and like that I need to clear up, but I ended up going to my cousin's funeral or whatever. My cousin Dre that died, or whatever. I ended up going to his funeral, and um, I guess detectives was there and they was watching like Richmond gang unit or whatever. And um, I guess like they've been lately, like they've been using my my music against me like in court and stuff like that. And basically, like, saying, like, everything we do is for the benefit of the gang and, like, basically turning everything against us of doing something positive. So, like, I ended up, like, basically, like, they were just stereotyping me on, like, who I affiliated with, like, just based off who we affiliated with in Richmond. But, like, you can't be like that when you grew up with everybody in Richmond. They don't want you to talk to certain people. They don't want you to be around certain people or you just, like, in that they put, they just basically lump you all in together. And they put like a bunch of charges on me, like gang enhancements and stuff like that, and gun charges and stuff like that. But I'm still going through the court process of that um, right now. When I was going to jail, um, I ended up we ended up getting into a high speed and I ended up crashing. Um, and then like, I was laying down f like flat on the ground and um, the officer came and he grabbed me by my hood. So he started dragging me. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you want me to stand up? So I stand up, but I'm like mad at this in, in this situation. Like one, I'm at my cousin's funeral. Two, like you dragging me. So I was like, why is you dragging me? So then as soon as I did that, all the officers rushed me. They took me back to the ground. So why did you want me to stand up if you wanted me to go on the ground? Which I was already on the ground. But um, after that, like, they was just punching me from there. As soon as he started, they started taking me to the ground. They was just punching me. So I'm, um, like, blocking him. I'm blocking him. He grabbed my hand down, punching me, punching me. But it's like 15 officers with their knees on my back. They punching me. They kicking me. Um, then like, they never gave me like the officer like name, nothing like that. So I'm asking for like the officer name. So they just throw me in the back of the car and take me to the hospital. Um, like after that, like I was just swole up for like a week, like sitting in jail, just swole. Like the whole, this side of my face wasn't like recognizable. Like I didn't even want to know if, I didn't even sit and turn in like a visiting form for the people to come see me for like a month just cause. I had like scars on my face and stuff like that. But I don't know. That just showed me like it ain't no justice situation like for certain people when they labeled you already. Like they was late they labeled me a gang member. I haven't been convicted of no being in no gang. But they labeled me a gang member before they even knew who I was, for real. Like, once you grow up in it, like, you know everything that go on. Like, it ain't nothing new to you. Like, like by now, like, my age, you, it ain't nothing that's really going to be new that you're seeing. Like, period. Like, you're going to see it all. But after a while, it just, it's crazy that it's normal, but it's normal to us, stuff that happened. For sure. Name number one goal, then number two is showing them, showing the people younger than me that certain situations they don't got to put themselves in. It's bigger than Richmond because most people, when you in that, you don't see bigger than Richmond. You don't see bigger than the city you in. You don't see bigger than the hood you in. You feel me? Like it be so you so caught up in what you're doing that you don't even know that it's more to life than what you're doing. Because sometimes it might even seem fun. It might get a little adrenaline rush out of even fighting these people who are doing this and all this drama. But at the end of it, it ain't going to lead you nowhere to having no money and taking care of your family. And burying you costs more than whatever you're doing right now. So at the end of it, you got to just, I just want to show everybody like a different way. I'm just trying to lead the way. Me and Tay Mackin and 
a few other people trying to lead the way. That's one thing like I feel like we be lacking. Like it's too much division in certain situations and mostly be like, oh, he fuck with him and I don't fuck with him. And he like I feel like they bring the streets into music situation. When like the streets tell you, oh, you can't mess with him because he messed with him. But at the end of the day, it's money. Like at the end of the day, everybody's trying to feed their family. And I feel like they always say like we should be like more like Atlanta and everybody should be love. But why try and be like somebody and try and fake the love just to be like this person? And I feel like nowadays like that's what's wrong with the Bay Area. And it's like we try and like lump ourselves in with just these group of people and not spread the love and for me certain people like I don't know. It's just that I feel like we should have more like I seen how y'all did like that cipher thing like that, stuff like that, like just on bringing it, bringing the bay out more and stuff like that. And having like award ceremonies and stuff like that because that's something we don't got. It's something that don't show like the appreciation of like the Bay Area and like the culture that we brought to it, like in a situation because it's a lot of people, a lot of places that got on for some of the stuff that we even started, you feel me? So. I feel like the unity needs to like start bringing back in the Bay. Like, and that's what we bring in. Like, that's what me and my brothers is trying to start. Like, I mean, we welcome everybody on. Like, it's nobody we ain't welcoming on. But certain people just, you can't bring everybody along because they're trying to sink the boat. So I feel like that's what we working towards and that's what we trying to push in Richmond. It's just, unity for right now. Like. My brother, like, me and him was like the closest person in my family. Like, to me, like, he was my father figure. Like, he only two years older than me, but like, that's the only thing I knew. So like, we was each other's crutch. Like, my mama was like, when we was kids, like, he fight, you come home and you didn't fight, you for sure getting your ass beat. So <laughs> we had to figure that part out. Like we had to do everything together. And if he couldn't go, I couldn't go. If I couldn't go, he couldn't go. So she made it that way. So once he was 17, he got sentenced to 13 years. So like once they did that, I was like fake devastated. Like, man, they stripped everything away from me basically. Like everything I know is every day I wake up, we walking to school together, we going to school together, every time we coming home together, no matter what, same female, same everything, we doing everything together. And it just change you, like it make you like see how life, how, like it kind of make you see how life, short life is, but then it make you angry too in a situation. Like, I feel like why would we want to grow up and be a police officer when the police officers is taken away young innocent people sentencing them to life like my other partner got life like it's just like three of my partners just now got life and it show you just like how like easy it is for them to take your life just how they say we taking other people life that's it that part may, I think that's one of the biggest parts of my life, other than like my brother going to jail and situations like that, that changed me into being like the person I am and the man I am and just wanting to do better and hustle more and strive for something bigger and see outside of Richmond. Like, because having somebody that look up to you that you can't change, like a certain situation that you just can't never like be like, oh, this is not mine or that's, that person gonna be there forever and they gonna look at you. And me, I never had like a father figure or nothing like that. All I had was like my brother. So my brother going to jail, like stripped that away from me, like a father figure away from me. So I had to be like the man in the situation. So 
for a long time, like I've been a man in the situation. So that just made me like more hungry. I would say like, want to go get it more. Like, I don't know. It's just something that I never had. So I want to just show everybody something I never had before. So in the point, like I can make like mold this person into being who I always wanted to be. It just motivated me.